We have some interesting Starlink news going on. We learned that the FCC has denied SpaceX nearly a billion dollars in subsidies to support rural broadband customers using Starlink. Now this was under the Rural Digital Opportunities Fund. The goal was to provide satellite internet service to about 650,000 locations in 35 states, according to the FCC. FCC subsidies are designed to be incentives for broadband providers providers to provide service to unserved and hard to reach areas in the United States. In a quote explaining why this money was denied, FCC Chair Jessica rosen Worsell said, quote, we must put scarce universal service dollars to their best possible use as we move into a digital future that demands ever more powerful and faster networks. We cannot afford to subsidize ventures that are not delivering the promised speeds or are not likely to meet program requirements. So the FCC is saying that SpaceX's Starlink has real promise promise but is still developing. And do any of you guys follow the Black Hat Conference in Las Vegas? Well, apparently a researcher revealed that he was able to hack a Starlink terminal and it wasn't very expensive or very hard for him. A Belgian researcher revealed at Black Hat that he mounted a successful fault injection attack on a user terminal for SpaceX's satellite-based internet system we all know is Starlink. He did this using a homemade circuit board that cost about $25 to develop. So this allowed him to break into the dish and explore the Starlink network from there. And he talked about all of this at a presentation he titled Glitched on Earth by Humans. And this was at an annual ethical hacker conference. Did any of you guys go? I didn't know this was a thing, but sounds kind of interesting. So he physically stripped down the satellite dish he purchased and created the custom board. He then attached that mod chip to the Starlink dish. Now to design the mod chip, he scanned the Starlink dish and created the design to fit over the existing Starlink board. Now once he attached this to the dish, the tool launched a fault injection attack to temporarily short the system. This allowed for bypass of Starlink security protections so that he could break into locked parts of the system. And yes, this researcher did reveal the vulnerability in a responsible way to SpaceX through a bug bounty program before he publicly made this presentation. So what does this mean for Starlink? Starlink's UT is one of three core components of the Starlink system. The other two are the satellites that move about 340 miles above Earth's surface in low Earth orbit. That's where they beam down those internet connections and gateways that transmit connections up to the satellites. So SpaceX has already responded to this researcher's presentation. SpaceX is inviting security researchers to bring on the bugs to help SpaceX better protect the Starlink system, as well as offering a detailed explanation of how they already are working to protect Starlink. The paper also congratulates the research, calling it technically impressive before poking a series of holes in it and assuring that Starlink's defense in-depth approach to security limits the overall impact of this issue to the network and its users. So definitely some interesting stuff going on with Starlink that I wanted to give you an update about. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already to Ellie in Space, and I have so much more content that I'm working on. I'm actually going back to Vegas because I actually want to ride in the Vegas Loop, not just walk around the empty passenger station. So get excited for that. I'm sure that you will enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video.